All right, I'm back. It's been a while. I thought I just stuck my hand into the paint, but it doesn't really matter how long I've been gone on YouTube because if you're watching this much later, it's all seamless anyway. So today we're going to be doing Blood Red, and we're going to be doing that on her her main clothes. Pen I don't know what's that called, over rope, over the chain mail, the shield too, and then try to get in there as much as possible. I hadn't thought about our gloves. Let me just check what I originally wrote right quick. Uh, yeah, the gloves are going to be brown, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to dive right in. This is just your range. Just dive right in and give it some red. And this is looking really thin, but it's the name of the game. We're going to give several coats. Those are leotards red. I don't know. Little leggings there. I might do those as brown. What I got for the boots. Boots and gloves are the same brown, so I don't know now. I'm gonna have to think about that. Meanwhile, I work around the the camera and the light. And if I could do a time lapse, I would, because this may be a little boing, boing boring for many people. But I figure start to finish. That's what we do here. Makes for a long lengthy YouTube episode, which I'm not especially trying for. What did I just paint there? Belt, okay. But anyway, going back to not painting in a while, I've had Cub Scouts, then Boy Scouts, all kinds of fun family activities like that. We're talking on the Cool Mini or Not forms. So let's see. Hold on a second. trying to decide whether these straps are going to be red or another color. We'll make them red. We may give them a, a dark wash or something. Make sure I'm not getting completely out of the frame. Let me move this light just a bit. This way I can get more over it and I'm not trying to duck under it. works much better. But anyway, we were talking on the forum threads that you know, people come and go out of the hobby and you know, all the time new people are coming in saying, oh I used to paint 5, 10, 15 years ago and just now getting back into it. And then there's regulars that you know have been there for years and then you know they painting in high school and junior high and they start to uh, move away to college and you have all the good fun times in college that just seems to eat up their entire painting time I can't even imagine trying to paint in a dorm room anymore actually I never painted in a dorm room but I didn't know this hobby existed then But it was interesting that the number of people that are in my situation, you know, my kids aren't as young as some others. You know, they're to the point where, you know, thank God they can 
run a shower and a bath for themselves now. Well, mostly. We still have to check, make sure they're... You know, that's, that's a backpack strap. Oh, that one is. Okay. That's not... Okay. Painting from the inside out. But, you know, I was kind of happy that, you know, gee, other people are having the same problems I am. You know, come home, you know, story time, you know, well, I don't remember which person was talking about it, but, you know, come home from work, and exhausted, and had enough time to have dinner with the kids, play with the kids a little bit. You know, read them a story before bedtime. So these you know, pretty young kids. And then for the rest of the evening, you know, don't want to paint. But then when you finally do get some time, oh, it's nice. Of course, me, I procrastinate. I didn't want to do this because I, I didn't want to record, which is silly. Because, you know, the entire reason I started recording this is so, gee, I'd feel a little bit more obligation to paint more often. And it's become, oh, I do need to paint. But anyway, where was I going with this? That, uh, glad to know I'm not the only one. Of course, you know, how many millions of people, you know. I wonder just how big the hobby is. I hadn't thought of that before, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint everything I can see as red. And if I have to paint it over with brown, it's not a big deal. But to come back and forget to paint the shield. Come back later and oh I didn't get that part right. That's not doing real. But like I said, you know, so many other obligations to to do and eats up so much time, work. Yeah, so any, you know, high school students out there just, oh, I don't have any time to paint. You know, Wait until you get older. It's going to get worse. Well, it's just, unless you decide to paint for a living, then good luck to you. number of people have tried that that I've seen. And you really start to get concerned about painting all the time. As I understand it, you know, you can't you have to get really good to make a go at this as a living. So I'll keep my engineering job a lot less stressful than having to paint. <laughs> Seems the opposite. I got the boot, but oh well. I shouldn't have painted that yet. Should have let that little spot dry. Overload it with paint there. Try to get it trimmed up good. Of course, I'm probably going to cause all the paint to crack because I'm putting it on too thick. Ah, oops. Getting to the impatient part of painting these figures. I want it done. I just want it done. Get it out of my off my bench. I don't want to see it anymore. <sighs> so, I don't know how many more videos of these I'm going to make. Yeah, I should make more. Because, you know, first off, it's just interesting to me. See who watches it. Oh, God, I got her hair. Can I wash it off? Yeah, mostly. So 
that's good. Hey, let's see, it's gonna be good. Of course, it's a thing I've complained about probably in the last video too. You know, I want to do anything other than what I'm currently doing. Okay, well, I have painted the base on here long enough. I may paint a little bit more, let this dry, and do that off camera because it's just me turning it over and over and over and painting. So, I'll cut it here, and we'll be back with some shading and highlights on it. Alrighty, <clears throat> we're going to start in with nice little brick red here I've got and that's just a simple one-to-one -one mixture of blood red and muddy brown I've tried I think I've got it thinned down enough that it won't be trying to make a base coat and we're just going to go in and touch the areas that need shade like right underneath the belt and get off the blue tack I'm not sure how much the shading I need. That was way too much. But you know, it just adds a little bit. I keep adding too much. It's practically a wash right now, and I need it to not be. Because all I'm trying to do, actually, I should think I should be going up towards where I want it to be shaded. I don't, ouch. Stab myself with some wire. Uh, I'm really thinking I want to do a freehand on this shield. But I'm not sure what it would look like or even what to put. So, shade it towards the top just for now. Actually, I probably coated everything, so let's just wipe it all off. Get that up. A little bit more there. I think I'll shade the back fairly well, because it's kind of in shadow. And we're just going to go around and around and around. So I'm not going to record all of this. Well, I should. But I'm going to try to get some shades down in there just to give the illusion of pleats. But I'm not sure I can pull that off. Well, so I think I think it will probably call that, and we'll. Get back to you after I do like three or four more things of this. See ya. Okay, nearly posted this video and realized I didn't go back and show the end. So this is what I've done, and I'm actually very happy with it. I don't think there's any need for any highlights here. I think the, the red is good enough. I'm pretty proud of that shield, although it's got a little tide mark in there that I've got autofocus off, can't see it anyway. But uh, I think I just screwed up if I tried to do any highlights, and the red's bright enough to begin with. So I think we're done with her little red dress, and we'll call it a night. Thanks for watching.